Hello everyone and welcome to chapter 77 of the last thoughts of a busy mind. This one name, sometimes you need to get mad. Working title, I'm mad as hell and I'm not gonna take it anymore. <laughs> uh, honestly, I really thought about putting it that, but I don't like to be like Howard Bill. I don't think he was a good, uh, like, he, he was... Uh, fundamental in packaging and reselling of anger and uh, justified anger so yeah and i don't want to be someone that you know my work defines me to that extent anyways let's get on with it um my drink today is carbonated orange juice um to be honest, I don't think it is juice. Uh, like it, um, I don't think it is uh, because, yeah, emulsi. It's a orange emulsion. Oh yeah, uh, orange natural. Like I'm looking at the ingredients. Uh, orange juice concentrate. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, again, it doesn't it doesn't taste like natural orange juice. It's just carbonated. Don't let me take a sip. Hmm. Tastes a little bit milky, if I'm honest. It might be because it's you know lucky fruit. It's that brand that I always say I don't like, but I happen to get anyway. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, let's get on to this episode. Uh, I've wasted two minutes already. Just saying nothing. Um, I want to talk about anger. Now, those of you who've been with me for a long time probably remember back in season 1, chapter 8, I did talk about anger. And I said, I don't like it when I get angry because when I get angry, I lose my cool and that means I start hurting people. At the time, uh, my anger has led to me falling out with a friend online, which I... Um, uh, I talked to her recently, we hash everything out, um, she did say she was hurt, but appreciated that I came back and apologized. And so, there is that. And I will mention it other episode later, but I generally don't like to be angry, even though sometimes I do believe I should be. We've all, I've talked about... Um, bottling up my emotions like and uh, there was a very famous and i'm saying famous as in don't don't laugh at me calling my own episodes episodes uh famous <laughs> to me they're famous because it's like the ones i remember most of because there are a lot i don't called a bit closed off it's chapter 71 actually and uh I talk about being emotionally closed off, and part of that is definitely anger. Like, um, people who talk with me will probably tell you, I I do get mad at, like, I don't know, I watch the bad movie, for example, I get mad at Michael Bay a lot. But when it comes to my personal life and, like, personal things happening to me, I usually don't get that mad. It's because... Part of it is because I genu genuinely don't like being angry. I feel like being angry doesn't lead to many good things. But at the same time, I don't think bottling it up will either. So it's good to you know just let out anger a little bit. I don't mean go out and hit people or be angry at someone else and hurt them. Don't don't get, get me wrong. That's not what I'm saying. I mean, being angry, just yelling into the air, that meme of old man yells at cloud, that, you need to do that sometimes. You just need to scream and show that, yes, you are angry, I'm mad as hell, and I'm not going to take it anymore. Fuck, I mentioned that he, again, didn't I? But another one of that is more of a conscious choice about something that is pretty fucked up, to be honest. Um, in the online world, if... Those of you who only listen to this podcast and have not seen me at all, get ready to have your mind blown. I'm a bearded, overweight nerd. I mean, push. But yeah, there's a stereotype regarding that, that bearded, overweight nerds are usually just angry, 
at other people. I don't want to mention like there is the courting, um there is I mean angry joy isn't that overweight, but he is overweight. But you know, I don't like that. I'm not putting them together by the way. Courting can go fuck itself. Angry Joe to some extent too. But anyways, that's that's just another discussion for another day. Um it's just that, you know, if you're a fat guy bearded and talk about nerdy stuff like Star Trek, it's sort of like, oh yeah, he's probably mad at girls, he's probably mad at um, minorities, which I'm not, by the way. I, when I say anger, I'm in anger at like, the Iranian regime. A lot of people who are that stereotype, Courtney, for example, they're mad about bullshit culture or stuff. I'm not talking about culture. War. Like, oh, they're taking out jubes. That um, South Park meme. But it's a conscious choice. I don't want to be associated with them, so I'm like, okay, if I stay calm at all times, I don't, I won't be associated with them. Which is, as you might have guessed, not the healthiest approach. <laughs> like, really not the healthiest approach. Probably the most unhealthy approach, because... All of this anger gets bottled up and then you blow up. And at that point, yeah, I don't like when I get that angry. Because at that point, yeah, there is no useful thing. Anger has uses. It's again, it's a surplus of emotions. You can't hold it in and expect it to go away. It will just build itself up. And I am angry. There are stuff that I'm angry about. Some of it is my personal life. Uh, back in chapter 64, I talked about uh, my breakup with, uh, from a relationship that was, by all accounts, not a very good one. It really fucking... Um, fuck it, let me, let me get a little bit angry about that. She was a selfish asshole. She only cared about herself. She made me feel really small, which is not very good in a relationship. And then when she uh, broke up with me, by a text, by the way, uh, she called me a shitty writer, a shitty YouTuber. And I am angry at that, because at the time, I told you that I'm, uh, I don't care. But I did, because I didn't let the anger out at that time, because at that time I was like, oh yeah, what what are you going to do? Two of is, I could have just yelled at a wall, like hit a brick wall for a while. And I think I would have felt better. The fact that I didn't do that meant that it became kind of like an obsession in, a, in my brain. And I got angrier and angrier without even realizing it. And whenever I tried to like burst it out, I felt a little bit better. Like when I finally admitted that, yeah, she was a bitch. I'm sorry if that is a sexist slur or if i sound sexist she was i'm not talking about like everyone she specific was she was a selfish asshole she didn't deserve me she doesn't deserve happiness at all i don't care how i sound right now she does not and the fact that i let her have the last word also hurts me uh she by the way like uh she okay fuck it uh, she doesn't deserve the happiness that um, she craves. The, and for all of my insecurities, at the very least, I know I'm liked by my friends. And I don't have to beg them for attention. So yeah, fuck her. God, that made me sound incredibly whiny. Which I don't like, because again, in my head, I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm looking like all of the... Out of the guys I don't, I'm probably looking like Wings of Redemption right now, which is a person I direly don't want to be um, likened to. Which is great, because if any of my friends listen to this shit, they will start calling me that, and <laughs> because they want to get a rise out of me. But, and I don't think I am, like I don't think anything I've done is that level, but I don't want to, I don't want the association by physical traits. Because yeah, I am also overweight. I am also bearded. I do have a, I do have very long hair though. Because which is, I want to be like Scar from Lanky. I want to look like him. And um, so yeah, it, it 
made me some wine, which is a conscious choice. I don't want to do that. But at the same time, it felt good that I admit this, that I don't, I said it out loud. And yeah, this is about all of those times. Like, okay, again, it's stupid to be mad at movies, but I am, I am mad at, I'm mad at MASH, that, uh, which I watched recently for the anniversary video. I'm mad at that movie because of what it did, because of how it's made, because of the all the rampant sexism. I'm mad at it, like I'm fuming with anger. Now I filmed myself and I just said, oh, it's, it's a bad movie, don't watch it. But, you know, at some point I, I need to realize that, oh yeah, that anger, like anger isn't a taboo emotion. You need to, you know... As I've read it in my notes, yeah, I have notes now. Anger needs to be expressed, much like love, much like a likeness, much like uh, devotion, much like appreciation. Anger also needs to be expressed. And I have to tell you, uh, the reason I know some of my closest friends is um, they've seen me angry. They've seen me angry at them specifically like they've done something that i felt was not justified uh, and uh, the same is true for like my other relationship like she saw me angry she got to see me angry so we were uh, i felt that close to her because i feel like anger as more of a taboo emotion like i easily tell people that i love them and i like them and i appreciate them and they have a special place in my heart because they do but I never tell people that I'm angry at them, and that they've hurt me. If I do that, know that you're a close friend to me. Because to me, that is a more taboo emotion, which is fucked up. It's really fucked up. Don't let me stop you from... Don't let me say otherwise. It is a fucked up thing. But, you know, sometimes you need to get fucking angry. And... A lifetime of not showing it has led to some like unhealthy stuff. It's because like uh, when I don't get angry, it means that all of those stuff that I want to say to that person will remain. And uh, well, again, GAD, OCD, all of those stuff uh, do play a part in it, including insecurities and all of that. It's all encompassing problem. Like you can't take one of the problems that I have and look at it like on its own. No. It's like a Jenga. If you take one play, uh, one piece out, you need to be careful how do you handle it because otherwise the whole thing will topple off. So you need to have it like in relation with others. It makes us, it's a good analogy. I was thinking of that um, graphic in, in that episode of last week uh, tonight where they're talking about trade wars, uh, which Trump used to do tariffs, and it's like, oh, he didn't do it on a steel mill, and then a giant Jenga fell onto Uncle Sam. It doesn't make sense, unless you go and watch that episode of Last Week Tonight, or watch that piece of it on YouTube. They do their sections on YouTube. <sighs> Should I put it in the description? No. Go ahead and search for it. Google it, or Bing it, or Yahoo it, or... Do something, I don't like the fact that a lot of my life is handled by fucking Google. Like, if Google one day decides, yeah, we're going to ban that guy, my whole life will probably fall apart. Because a lot of my functions online are handled by them, including this show. I'm using the online stopwatch on Google. <laughs> so, like, you know, uh, okay, I don't, that's, another, that's another thing. Uh, I, I probably will make a video about that. Um, did they make that? Okay. Keep it for the... Stay on topic. Stay on topic. You're angry now. <laughs> I'm angry at Google, to be honest. I'm angry at the world that led leads this stuff and uh, lets it happen. Like, I'm mad that people in America don't want more because uh, the fact is a lot of legislation... A lot of these companies are American, so a lot of legislation needs to happen in America for them to be... Uh, more worldwide because I don't think Google will move their headquarters to like Iran for the lax copyright laws. <laughs> they might though. 
In that case, then I will be mad at Iran for not doing anything. I'm mad at Iran for a lot of things. My country is fucked up. The inflation. Like a couple of days ago, I wanted to eat order out. I ordered something. A week ago, it was half the price. Literally a week ago. Because I had the receipt. It was half the price. In a week, it got double the price. And I'm mad about that. I'm angry that... It seems like uh, my financial stability is in ruin, which, to be honest, wasn't that much of a stability to begin with. But anyways, and like everything around me seems to crumble. I cannot plan for anything because I don't know where the economic system, global system, will go. And on top of that, Iranian problems on Iranian economy is just like a mess. So yeah, I'm angry at that. And it's an anger that I cannot do anything about and uh, like okay uh, what is my recourse here anything I want to do will take time and in that time uncertainty I sent uncertainty will rise if I decide to leave Iran which I do have plans for it will take time if I decide to remain well hopefully not if uh, if there is if like a new president is what we need, it's gonna take time. Like there is no recourse. All of this anger, I can express it. The only way I can express all of this anger is by yelling at clouds. But you know what? Maybe sometimes I need to. Because yeah, you know what? I I I cannot uh, properly channel this anger into something useful at the moment with my current problems. I need to be angry because anger is an a strong emotion. Anger is a strong emotion. It will lead to like on the nose stuff. Like when I was I got angry today, which is why I want to do this. I'm recording this at two forty seven AM by the way. My sleep schedule was okay today, but it got fucked. I took a nap in the afternoon. And, like, the reason I got angry today was something pretty mundane. I realized someone has blocked me. Again. Very stupid. Yeah. But I realized, oh, yeah, it's probably... It was someone who I really don't have a good relationship with. So, you know, I got angry at that because of it all. I remembered all of the stuff we talked about and all of the things uh, she said to me. So I was like, oh, fuck you. And... The reason I got, I like, that moment of anger, I can do a lot of stuff, which I don't like, which is what the chapter 8 was about. I wanted to go and, like, talk to people and be mad at them. But then I just became angry. I yelled at the computer screen for a while, for, like, 10 minutes. And I said all of the stuff that I wanted to say to her, to the computer. And after that, I felt good. And I... Went on the rest of my day, wrote my script for today, uh, recorded my voiceover for a part of the video anniversary video. So, you know, I managed to get rid of that anger and do something more constructive. And that's what I think I need to do. Basically, sometimes you need to get mad. Oh, don't forget to send me a message on Anchor. Ugh, I forgot to do this. Uh, your message will be played, voice message will be played at the beginning of the next episode, and you might shape a whole episode. On top of that, if you are listening to this on YouTube, go ahead, leave a comment, like, comment, subscribe, all of that. If you listen to this on any other platform, there's probably ways for you to send me a message. I have a public email for this uh, show, and if you're on CastBox, you can comment there. I'm checking the comments there too, and I will read your comments, unless you tell me don't read it then I want to read it. But do specify, otherwise I will read it. Uh, so yeah, I guess I need to just get rid of that stereotype. I'm a fat, angry nerd, bearded nerd, and I sometimes, oh, I, it was supposed to be so cool. I'm a fat, bearded nerd, and sometimes I get angry. I just need to come to clutches with that. Because keeping the anger inside is never the answer. It feels good. It makes you look dignified. But what is looking dignified when three months from now you're going to be yelling at a computer screen because at that moment you didn't tell her to go fuck off. <laughs>
anyways i will see you all next week hopefully uh something exciting happens during the week that i can talk about <laughs>